We have a new release this time around, so no intro or anything of this sort. Though I know about Retropolis, I think it's transitioning from app lab and it's like a point and click story driven experience to just discover the secrets of this cinematic thing. New game, part one. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Sit down and listen closely. Before they were gone, humans made robots to keep civilization alive. We robots turned out to be just like how humans were, apathetic and broken. Welcome to Retropolis, a marvelous city, 100% mechanical, designed for one purpose only to keep the past alive forever. You know, the good old days, when the economy was booming and the women were beautiful. <laughs> but if you walk down the city streets, all you can find is loneliness, greed, and betrayal. My name is Philip Log. I was fashioned to be a detective for the RPD. I was good at my job because I'm not the kind of robot who does what he's told. I went after leads even if they took me to the higher levels of the city. That's how I lost my partner. That day I left the force and became a private eye. Sure, the pay isn't great, but I do have some crazy stories to tell. So it's like a VR experience, like a film, but interactive. It's interesting it came from App Lab, like it wasn't on the official store before. At last, a job. Because you're lonely. You're a funny guy. <laughs> if you don't pay me the rent by the end of the week, you're out on the street. How can you do this to me? Don't you have a heart? No. Oh. Oh, man. I need a drink. Wow. That's great. Where's a glass or something? <laughs> oh. Now I don't have any money and my piggy is broken. <laughs> this is my table. I put things on it. The future is fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so basically it's a puzzle and you just search for things to interact. <sighs> it's empty. Can a robot have a drink, please? My mother always says I look so good I could be a movie star. Just kidding, I'm a robot. We don't have mothers. I mean, you look good as a robot, though. Mmm, I love jazz. It makes my drinking seem much more sophisticated than it really is. Screws are expensive, I'm trying to cut back to a pack a day. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I better take a small sip and that's it. Ah, that's a strong drink. Oh, I think it's a good one. I'll just rest my head for this. Did we drink oil or something? Like, because screws are cigarettes, but... Offices of all the private investigators in all of Metropolis. She had to walk into mine. Is it because I'm the only robot stupid enough to work as a PI in this city? I can't remember. I'm drunk right now. I hope you don't mind that I let myself in, Mr. Log. The door wasn't locked, and I don't want anyone to see me. May talk. Jenny Montage, the famous movie star, standing right in front of me. I gotta hide my flask before she finds out I'm all boozed up. <laughs> Say, aren't you married to that big shot senator? Is he the reason you don't want to be seen here? It's not what you think, Mr. Log. Have you seen any of my films? What do you think about them? Um, awkward silence. Look, I don't need to hear your life story. Let's skip all the talking and just send me on a mission. I'm Jenny Montage. If I'm walking, you will watch. If I'm talking to you, you will listen. And if I'm asking you something, you will answer. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. I rarely go to the cinema myself. It's like they're making the same movies again and again. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Well, 
The audience is made of robots. Yeah, well, so are the writers. <laughs> Back in the day, I thought life was like a romantic movie. I was a no-name singer with big dreams. I married an ambitious businessman. Marriage is a career move. What could go wrong? Politics corrupted him. After he was elected senator, he, he became cold and abusive. What a bastard. He crossed the line, and so I ran away. I don't want to be a star anymore. I don't want anyone to own me. I want to be free. That's a hell of a story, but this is not an audition. It's a place of business. What can I do for you? Last night we were arguing. He got violent and tore out my sapphire nucleus. Sapphire what? My sapphire nucleus. It's the famous gem I always wear on me. I need you to get it back tonight. Obviously. <laughs> my services are expensive, Mrs. Montage. I hope you can afford them. This is all I could gather for your down payment. I hope it's enough. Wow. Even your money smells good. I'm pretty sure my husband is keeping the sapphire nucleus in his ivory suitcase. He's a very dangerous man. Don't let anyone see you. Well, we have money, so we're good. I love the story writing so far. Jenny's husband wasn't some run-of-the-mill politician. Before he was elected, Senator Merrick made his fortune producing hit movies, so he knew how to manipulate public opinion. A robot without a job is like a model without booze. It's useless. Can someone please tell me what are homeless robots good for? I say, grind them all. <laughs> I tailed the senator as he went downtown, where you can find all the faulty robots he hates. I guess that includes me. It seems like Senator Merrick is occupied, the way a married man shouldn't be. The ideal time to get his suitcase. Hello? Let me see what you're smoking there. Oh Give shit! The <laughs> that you would have. What is this? It's carbon steel. Not for somebody your size. And don't take it again. I won't. Unless I want to. <laughs> oh my god. Pick up Merrick's suitcase. Okay, well that's not gonna be easy. Yeah. Hmm, the handle's missing. Um, give me this. Can I have a hit of that? Do you ever lose fuels? You keep taking my stuff! You see, that's why they say smoking is bad for you. <laughs> You're welcome. That's nice. Well, I appreciate you giving me a hand. <laughs> this game! Even if this saw was working, I wouldn't cut this. Even if this saw was working, I wouldn't cut this. Even if this saw was working, I would <laughs> Even this. them. Car battery. Must be useful for... something. Hey! How dare you? Uh, killing that homeless guy isn't really my thing. Well, uh... Yes, it's working! Hey! <laughs> there must be a more civil way to get him off this electrical board. I want it back, okay, pal? <laughs> Farewell, my dear flask. Hey, who turned up the line? Uh, oops. <laughs> I should get out of here before they notice it's missing. A suitcase within a suitcase. So satisfying. Bye bye. I met Jenny later that night. She was tense as a wire, but I was only interested in one thing. Her money. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Log, you almost frightened me to death. You've got nothing to worry about, Miss Montage. I got the suitcase. What are you waiting for? 
Give it here. Now, let's discuss my payment. Since it was a high-risk job and I lost my dear flask, I believe I deserve a cut from the sale. What sale? You're gonna sell that diamond and I want in. I don't know what you're talking about. Save your lies to the camera, Miss Montage. I know all about runaway wives like you. You know nothing about me. If you take the sapphire nucleus from me, I'll have enough energy left for 24 hours. After that, I just shut down and lose all my data. Hmm. You should have told me that before. Why bother? You already know everything about runaway wives like me. Did anyone tell you back here, Mr. Log? Mm, yeah. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about. Only that one surveillance drone saw me. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh. Okay, that was easier than expected. Why is the police after you? It's not the police, Philip. It's my husband. Here she is, boss. And the scrap pile is on your suitcase. There you are, darling. You know I don't like losing my things. No, please. You used to love me. Why are you doing this to me? It was supposed to be a secret, but, uh, what the heck? I'm selling you off. You're a monster, Merrick. A monster. No, darling. I'm a robot. And so are you. Hey, buddy, that's my client. Now let her go. Huh? Really? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> I'll rip that mustache right off your stupid face. Go ahead. I'll buy myself a better one. Damn it. Ah, uh, you won't get away with this, Merrick. When I look at you, I see a loose cog in the machine. You better tighten yourself up, Tiger, or you'll fall. Target. Philip Mark. Yes, boss? That bot has a problem. Fix him. Touch me. Right away, boss. I'm all fixed up, really. You, you don't need to do this. That's what they all say. No, hey! <laughs> okay. Let's stop here, but I actually really like this. I'm very surprised it didn't come to the official store first. Like, every experience like that does. So, something must have happened or it's like a very fresh project. But I'm definitely interested in doing a full playthrough of it. I love the art style, I love the writing. Like, everything seems to be in place. Obviously, it's like limited locomotion and basic mechanics. But it is what puzzle adventures serve nowadays. Like, a fun memorable experience. And that's what I want to get away from this game. We'll have to see when I will go back. <laughs>